Hello to all my lovely ladies and gentlemen out there. My name is Claudine and welcome back to my channel. If you're a first time visitor to my channel, welcome. I would love to have you back. So if you take a quick second and hit that subscribe button down below and ding the bell so that you are notified the next time I do upload a video, I would really appreciate it. Now that we've put away our big coats, thick sweaters and boots and have our sundresses, sandals and flats ready to go, I wanted to make this quick video as a PSA of sorts for what are, in my opinion, the best ballet flats out there. Teaks. They are adorable. They're comfortable. You need them in your closet. Let's just get started. Teaks are available in whole sizes only, ranging from size 5 to size 13. So if you fall in between sizes or have a bit of a wider foot, they usually recommend you going up a size. Price point for the flats will range anywhere from $175 all the way up to $345, just depending on whether or not you decide to go with a classic leather, a patent leather, or a print. Or if you're not into leather at all, they do have vegan options out there for you to choose from as well. They currently have over 60 colors and prints on their website, so you have plenty of options out there. Now here I've kind of recreated the boxing, unboxing process so that I could show you what to expect if and when you do decide to purchase a pair. They come in this beautiful signature Teaks Turquoise blue box along with a flower at the top. Actually, before I open this box, I cannot recreate their packaging because they this box is not very big, but they pack quite a punch in here. They include a number of things which I cannot get in here and close it and make it look this pretty. So let me show you what else comes in here aside from the flats, which are in here right now. If you open the box once you receive it from Teaks, they typically inc include a card. This is an example of one and it'll usually have a nice note in there telling you to enjoy them and we look forward to seeing how you wear them, things like that. They will also include this little brochure pamphlet of sorts, I guess, that gives you some basic information about the flats, like you see right here. And then the back has their social media info. That's the front of it. And then the back here. And they also send you two bags. Now you get this little one right here, teeny tiny with a little zip tie. And my understanding is that the purpose of this little bag is for you to fold your flats and put them in here. Now, if my life depended on it, I cannot do that. If you own Teaks and can get them to fit in here, I would love for you to hit me up in the comments down below and let me know how you get them in here. I've tried everything I can, but I, I just can't get them to work. So I, truthfully, I don't even use this little pouch. But again, if you know how to do it, I would love to learn. So, so share that information with me. And in that bag that I just showed you, they'll include this other bag. It looks like a little egg and I'll open it up for you. You pop it open like so, and it's a shopping bag in their signature turquoise blue color. And the purpose of this bag is usually for whatever shoes you might have on if you're switching out and into teaks. Like let's say you were wearing some heels and they were starting to hurt and you just needed some comfort. You take off those heels. Presumably your teaks would be in here. Again, I don't know how. You put those heels that you had on in this bag and then you put the teaks on your feet and continue on with your day. So those are the items that come in the box along with the main event, the flats themselves. So you take the flower off like so, pop open the top and they'll usually be wrapped in tissue. You can see it says teaks all around on the tissue and this is the this is the tricky part. And I'm talking, look, I mean, look, these are the flats they are in here. And like I said, all the things that I just showed you are usually also in here as well. I don't know how they do it. So bear with me as I try to do this. Okay. And they're folded. Now they're dirty, obviously, because I've worn them. These are just a pair I picked from my collection just to show you. Unfold them like so. And I apologize for the less than pretty interior, but you know, I'm wearing them. That shows you I'm giving them, you know, good use and good wear. So uh, yeah, just ignore that. But as you can see the back here, you can also see their signature Teaks Blue stripe and the soles as well are Teaks Blue. And you can fold them the way they came. And like I said, the premise of them folding is I guess for, 
for them to be more compact and more portable for travel and such. And so these would, again, they'd go in here. I, I can't do it. I don't know. Honestly, if I were to use a bag, I might just use this turquoise one that they give, even though it's technically for the heels, you know, you could still use this and put them in here. And then, you know, this could be the travel bag of sorts as well. So that's usually what comes in a box of teaks if and when you order them. So now you have an idea of what to expect. Prior to discovering teaks, I had an awful time with finding a good pair of flats. I'll use these as the example to just kind of show you the problem areas I would usually have with flats. Typically, I would experience pain on either side of the shoe right here. Not again, not with teaks, but with other flats I have tried in the past. The leather might not be soft enough and it would just hit my foot in such a way that over time it would hurt a lot. or the uh, trim here of the leather would scrape against the uh, top of my foot and that would hurt. Or ladies and gentlemen, you probably can feel me on this one when it would scrape back here on the back of your foot, like the Achilles area, the worst kind of pain ever. I mean, to the point where you'll blister, you'll need a Band-Aid and you'll start walking on your tippy toes because it hurts that much. Or I've had uh, flats in the past where I'd feel like the toe box was too short and that while I was walking over time the the toes were hitting the front of the shoe and of course that is also not comfortable either so you know you name it any kind of issue you could have with flats I was having those problems with any flats that I would try and give a chance and, and it just it just would not work and then uh, one day I came across this lovely brand. Teaks is only available online. You can't go into a store and try them on, so that really is your only option. I was hesitant at first, I'm not gonna lie, because I don't like to order shoes online because I am a bit of a difficult fit. My foot is a little bit wide, so I could range in size from nine to 10. It just depends on how that particular designer cuts. So I wasn't really keen on ordering and then not having it work and then returning and exchanging, you know, that whole miserable process, you know what I'm talking about. Thankfully for the brand themselves, they're obviously aware of the fact that the only way people can get their shoes are online. So their uh, shipping, their return policy and their exchange policy are excellent. You gotta give them credit for that. It is spectacular. First off, and I'm in the US, so bear that in mind. It's probably a little different for international. Within the US, it's free shipping both ways. So you, you get them, they're free. They don't work out, you send them back, they're free. Return policy, you can return them at any point in life, assuming they've never been worn. You can hold on to them for 30 days, uh, 30 months, 30 weeks. If you end up deciding that they do not work for you, you can put in a request, they'll send you a label, you can send them back. But again, they have to be unworn. Exchange policy. Now their exchange policy is excellent in my opinion. I cannot recall a company that does this. They send you the exchange pair at no cost. They will not charge your card. They trust you enough to keep both pairs, decide which one you wanna keep and return the pair you do not want back. I think that's amazing. I cannot think of a company off the top of my head that will send you a pair of shoes or anything and not charge you for it. Now, with that being said, you can't pull a fast one on them. If you do hold on to them long enough, I believe it's a month. Don't quote me on that. But if you do hold on to them for about a month, they will end up charging your card for that second pair because they're going to be assuming that you decided to keep both. So you're not going to end up with, with a freebie. Be aware of that. So I bit the bullet. I ordered them never had to worry about returning them. They were perfectly comfortable straight out of the box. I I was blown away, to be honest with you. I've never, you never, sneakers aren't even that comfortable straight away. These were so comfortable, they did not hit my foot in any of the problematic areas I've had in the past. I have zero issues back here, zero issues with the leather here. The sides, over time they mold to your foot and a shoe that starts out comfortable becomes even more comfortable with time. So there is no break in period ne needed at all for these shoes. You start at comfortable and then they just get more comfortable. It's, they're amazing. I have a number of pairs. I don't want to do the math. It's not too, too much, but for someone that lives in a climate where summer is only a few months, I probably have a little more than I need. Definitely below 10. I, I think, I think eight. I think eight, yeah. But I mean, that just tells you how amazing these are. So if you're somewhere, it's flats weather year round, 
excellent investment in my opinion. And like I said, they have uh, classic leather, they have patent leather, they have prints. I currently do not own any prints. I own only the classic, which you see right here, as well as um, a couple patent leather. They are all comfortable. I personally though, even though I do own some patent, I do prefer the simple classic leather. That's great for me because they are the cheapest pair at $175. The patent leather is actually $195 and the prints is where you end up getting into those higher price points that exceed $200 and even into $300. But like I said, I don't own any of those. I just have classic and patent. And while both are comfortable and both work i own them both i do lean a little more toward the classic because they are just a smidge more comfortable and for me personally i find them to be a little bit more breathable than the patent i am not sponsored or affiliated with teeks in any way so i am not profiting in any way from this video at all i just wanted to share with you a really excellent pair of flats out there that you should add to your closet if you are able to do so or if you're looking for a new option for flats i really think they will be a huge game changer and a really great asset to your closet so if you did like this video please do give it that thumbs up and hit the subscribe button down below and ding the bell so that you are notified the next time i do upload a video thank you so much for watching see you next time Bye bye